Ha, hi everyone, it's me, Tessa, or hi everyone, Sailor of Pluto, Tessa here, and today I'm going to talk about why there was a, why there was a separation between the inners and the outer sailor soldiers. Now in Sailor Moon Super, the outer sailor soldiers representing the outer planets, including Uranus and Neptune and Saturn and Pluto before some geniuses out there thought that it was too small to actually be its own individual planet. Well, regardless of all that, there was a separation between the inners and the outers. Now, the outers tend to be adults. That was true. The outers tend to be more older and tend to have a little bit more powerful powers. You know, if that made any sense to the inners. But the reason there was a separation is because apparently they were outer protectors or defenders, you know, of the moon kingdom and the outer solar system. So they never actually ever, so their mentality or their attitude was different. Now, I was the first outer sailor soldier that any of the other ones had any contact with going back to Sailor Moon romance, you know. Even though I do eventually come back in Sailor Moon Super and also in Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, I was the only one that had any contact with them. And the reason I think that there was a, a different attitude or a reason why both sides didn't want to work with each side is because for some reason one side saw the other side as well, not viable and not as powerful, but felt that since they worked in a vision, since they worked as a team the way they did in the past, they figured if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And I seen, I think that was the, I, I think that was the attitude of Amara and Michelle, Sailor Uranus, Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune, respectively. That was not so much the attitude of Sailor Saturn even though she was an outer sailor soldier, but I don't think she had that same attitude. Me, I never really did have that same attitude. I actually would work with the other inner sailor soldiers, but I tended to also be considered with the outer sailor soldiers too. Now, a lot of people always argue about why they why the outer sailor soldiers were were portrayed in a oh you know we're more mature we're more better than you you know um we can't be borrowed to work with you attitude and i think it was because in the past say in the past princess Uran princess uranus and princess neptune and he is in Princess Saturn to a point myself. I think between those two, not the uh, not Saturn and myself, but I think between Uranus and Neptune, I think since they've always worked as a unit, just the two of them, they never really worked with the other ones. And since they were mostly outer solar system defense, they really actually never really you know, had that bond where we need to work together as a team or we need to, you know. But that did change at the end of Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, of course. But the reason it wasn't like that in Sailor Moon Super was the mentality and the attitude, you know. That's just my guess. I could be completely wrong about why the outer sailor soldiers or sailor guardians or sailor warriors or sailor scouts, whatever term you want to use. Half of them are probably loan words anyway. Um, why they fought the way they fought or why they didn't work with each other. Now, I'm not really sure why this was the case. That's my beholding. That's my beholding to why or my whim of why I think that Uranus and Neptune wanted to stick to themselves and didn't really want to work with Moon and Mercury and Mars and Ju and Venus and Jupiter and Venus and Mini Moon for for most fun. 
why they didn't actually work together because probably because they considered themselves their own unit and they were worked together as the two of them in the past. So they didn't really actually want, if it wasn't broken, don't fix it. Everybody's going to have their whims and their beholdings to why this is. Let me know what you think. So that's it. I'm Thalo Pluto Tessa. I'll see you later.